boy, at, a, at the age of seven, do you know what? Immediately, some schools called the young boy after leaving that place. They gave the boy a scholarship. They gave the boy a grant. You know, they, from nowhere, schools started calling him because he was able to go to White House and touch the head of President Obama. <laughs> mm. My God. Today, I decree, people will invest their credibility upon your name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. See, one thing is to know favor. Another thing is to know what brings favor upon people's name. Uh, you everybody cry favor, favor. What is it that brings favor upon you? One investment in credibility. Ah, you need somebody that will invest his stature upon your name. You need person that will invest his name, his value upon you, and immediately your value will jump up. I therefore pray, pray with me tonight. Lord, bring across my path someone that will invest his credibility, someone that will invest his social capital, someone that will invest his value, someone that will invest his stature upon my name along the course of my life, along the journey of my life. Bring me, Lord, people that will invest their stature. People that will invest their credibility. People that will invest their social capital. People that will invest their pedigree upon my name. Lord, bring them across my path. Lord, these people, they don't need to give you money. They don't need to give you, they just invest their credibility upon your name. Bring them across my path. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Another thing that brings honor to you, another thing that brings mercy to you is what they call honor. Write it down. Honor, 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 honor. Write it down. The first one is investment in credibility. Number two, that brings favor upon believers is what we call honor. 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 Oh, that, for, that thing was first used. Exodus 20 12. It said, Honor your father and your mother. That your days may be prolonged in the land where the Lord God gives you. Honor, honor, honor. Deuteronomy 5 15. Honor your father and your mother. Matthew 15 4. For God said, Honor your father and your mother. Matthew 19 19. Honor your father and your mother. Mark 7 10. For Moses said, Honor your father and your mother. Ah, oh, my God. Mark 10, 19. Mark 10, 19. Lerus kapali garada. Les koprale keros kelida ratoga. That one said, do not be a false witness, but honor your father and your mother. Luke 18, 20. Do not be a false witness. Honor your father and your mother. Ephesians 6, 2. Honor your father and your mother. Which is the first commandment? Malachi 1 6. A son honor his father. A servant is master. A son honors his father. A servant is master. First Timothy 5 3. Leco scupra la doza. Honor widows who are widows indeed. But honor your fathers and your mother. Ah, my God. Did you see how we, how we bring value upon yourself? Bible did not say if your mother is a witch, that is the time you must not honor him. Whether your mother is a witch, whether it's a wizard, Bible says what? Honor. Somebody say honor, honor, honor. Oh, no. uh, see, these things, these are the things that brings value to you. These are the things that brings that brings mercy. These are the things. Bible said that if you do not do it for these people that you see. How can you do it for me, your heavenly father, that you did not see? Honor, oh. honor. You honor your spiritual father. You honor your, your earthly father too. He said, honor your father and your mother. If you don't do it unto these people, you know, arrogantly these days, we talk, we talk, we talk to our mothers and our fathers anyhow. Because they are now, mm. because they are now old, you treat them like a baby. You say, mama, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, don't disturb me, you know. 
As the Bible said, you don't know what you do when you honor them naturally. Honor, mm-hmm. honor. He brings dignity to you. He, he t- uh, do you know what? I was going through something. He was a Muslim lady that told me. The lady said, come, come, come. He said, do you? He said, have, have your mother prayed for you? Have your father prayed for you? Uh-uh. The, this, the thing shook me. He entered my body as if, as if I did not know what she was saying. And immediately I left her. I picked my phone. I said, Daddy, how are you, sir? He said, fine. You know that one, before I even called that one, that one, the first thing that one would do is to start praying. I called that one. He said, oh, I passed to that one. I said, fine. He said, let me pray for you. I quickly removed my shoes in my office. I quickly put my feet on the ground. I said, Daddy, I'm here. Pray for me. He said, that was how I prayed. He made that one finish praying. I quickly called Mommy. Mommy, how are you? How far have you eaten? That cloth, I will buy it for you. That cloth that I promised you, I will buy it for you. He said, eh, hey, when do you want to buy it? He said, okay, let me pray for you. See, let me tell you, there is something honor will do to you. Don't come and tell me that your father is a wizard. Don't come and tell me that your mother is a witch. Bible said, by the time you honor them, it will bring mercy. It will bring glory unto you. Honor. If you don't even no. honor the man of God that God has sent unto you, how do you want prayer? My God, let us not go to that. I decree and declare tonight, every one of you who has come down because of your lack of honor, you do not honor. Even your children, you disrespect them. Even your neighbors, you do not honor them. You lack honor, even be, even for your colleague in the office. You don't honor anybody. Nobody means anything to you. Not, but you want favor. But you want mercy. Even your boss in the office, you disrespect them. Tonight, I decree, everything that dishonor has brought into your life, by the mercy of God, I decree, let it vanish in the name of Jesus. Uh, how can you dishonor a man of God on TV and you want him to pray for you in physical life? It will not work. Do you know what? Do you know what? Ah, we went to a mountain. I promised, I promised on that mountain that I was going to give a seed of 100,000. And four weeks down the line, I didn't give the seed. Ah, uh-uh. the man of God appeared to me in my dream, Prophet Ezekiah. He wanted to slap me. He said, have you forgotten that we drink from the same stream? Ah, when I woke up, I was the one begging for the account number. I quickly, I quickly saw the seed there. You see, that is honor. It is not only physical honor. You also honor spiritually. Tonight, I decree and declare, whatever dishonor has brought into your life, let favor, mercy, clear the road for you. In the name of God. Hey, ah, you eh? He said, do not allow it to be too long before I understand the place of honor. Do not allow it to be too long, Heavenly Father. I thought I am honoring people. I did not know that I am dishonoring them. Even my dispatch rider, I dishonor. Even my driver, I dishonor. I say, Lord, do not allow it to be too long for me. Even my, why am I dishonoring people and I want favor? Lord, do not allow it to be too long for me. Lord, do not allow. Uh, uh, Lord, place a mark of honor upon my life. Place a mark of honor upon my life, Heavenly Father. A mark of honor, Lord. Do not look at my errors. Do not look at my errors, Lord. Place a mark of honor upon my life. Do not look at my mistakes, Lord. Do not look at how I have refused to stand. Place a mark of honor upon my life. A mark of honor. In Jesus' name we pray. You know, some of you, you come back from work, you got and you your children just ask you for something simple. And before you know, you shout at them. Uh, and these people, they also have angels attached to them. You know, uh, Bible says, suffer not the children to come unto me, because theirs is the kingdom of God. But you yourself, because they are little children, you say, I bet don't come unto me. Meanwhile, just by hugging them, the angel of peace will come around you. Just by hugging them, ah, people don't. 
people, where are people tonight? Uh, Sister Kechi, just by hugging the children, angel of peace surround you and say, Oh, daddy, you are going through trouble, but you did not dishonor this little child. You see, what honor will bring unto you? Prayer will not bring it. Some people are sleeping, I'm telling you. What honor will bring into your life? Macarosa. What honor will bring into your life? Prayer will not bring it there. Uh, yes. yes, I was praying I was praying for one guy last time. He told me I will pray, we pray. I just saw I just saw how his boss turned the back at him. And I said, Who is this person that is turning the back at you? I said, Who is this person? The name starts from A. I can see why there. He said, Ah, that's my boss. That's my his name is AY. I said, hey. mm. I said, I said your boss is not is not favoring you because you have dishonored him. He said, what should I do? I said, go and buy a basket of amper. Amper. Put put non-alcoholic wine there. Take it to his office and show. And the guy said, immediately the guy did that. His his life turned around in the office. They started giving him job. And at the next promotion exercise, he was promoted. He called me back. He said, Apostle, they promoted me. I said, it is not prayer that did it. It's honor. It is honor. 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 Don't say because you are a believer, your hand is like an archive. Don't say because you are a believer. Even your security, you cannot say, ah, security, take two hundred naira. Uh, God bless you. You cannot even say, you know, these are the things that people of other religion are doing. And you think they know what how to do. They know the place of honor. Your boss in the office, don't say because it's your boss. Buy a hamper, hamper, put one there. Uh, say, Apostle, what should I do? Uh, hey, read Psalm 135 there. Put Isaiah 62 on it. Uh, go and give unto him like a gift. You will see how doors will open unto you. All no can open door. I decree and declare today, every one of you that has discredited all no, Every one of you thinking that by your strength you will prevail. Every one of you that has eroded value due to lack of honor. I decree today, may honor begin to follow you from now. In the name of Jesus. I, I, I share a story with you, Sister Nike. They were driving on Tomilan Bridge. And the driver mm. said, in his heart, the driver said, how, how I wish this car can have accident now. You know? Mm. They were driving on Tom Milan Bridge. And the driver, mm. uh, Brother Bright, the driver said, how I wish this car can have accident now. And guess what happened? Guess what happened? Guess what they happened? Had accident. They had accident. And the car somersaulted. Oh, my God. Mm. But do you know what? Mm. Do you know the owner of the car died immediately? Or the drive the driver oh the drivers mm. the driver not even a scratch on his body. Mm. Uh, the angel of evil walking around him, they know how to confirm bad news. You know, bad news is easy to confirm, but good news mm. is very difficult to you, you need to pray, you need to fast. You know, you know, before you can bring good news, you will fast, you will pray, you will honor, you know. But to bring bad news is very easy. Just go and sin. Just go and commit sin. Uh, bad news will come naturally. See, the man, he said I in his heart, let this car, you know. But supposing the boss has been good to him, you know. I'm not talking about some driver that are just permanently bad. But supposing the, the boss has been saying, oh, how are you? How are you? Yeah, take this thing, give to your wife. Oh, how are you? Oh, oh yeah. take this thing. I give you this thing. You know, if a place of honor would have won that credibility for the boss. You know, uh -huh. uh, but uh, uh, you are a stupid guy. You are this. You are that. You know, oh my God, my God. May God teach you how to honor people that are lower than you. In the name oh, of man. Jesus. Oh, you know, people do not like what we are praying about tonight because it is not a prayer for them and die. But let me tell you, 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 will go and, you will go and practice honor and you will see how God will invest favor in your life. Favor will be invested, you know, and people will begin to honor you too. In the mighty name of Jesus.
You know, I have, a, I have a man of God. He, he took somebody that was in debt to a mountain. He said, let me pray for you. He said, like, you know how people can sacrifice to pray for people? He said, let me pray for you. I, and on the mountain, a revelation came out that there's a property you want to sell. That you will sell that property in seven days. But, but don't forget, make a promise with God that you're going to... Fulfill. And the man, the man opened up. The man said, I have been trying to sell this property for long. But I don't know what happened. The man said, ah, the man of God now said, don't worry. Put your leg here. Let me pray for you. And they prayed. They prayed. You know, the prayer started from 8 in the midnight. And it ended 4 a.m. And within seven days, the Lord confirmed his word. And the man sold the property. But guess what happened? After selling the property, the man, the man refused to honor agreements. You know, human being is very easy. You will say, ah, yeah, God, when you do this thing for me, I will come back. I will do this. But let God do that thing for you and let's see whether will, you will come back. Let's see whether you will come back. Uh, the man sold the property and he forgot agreement. Property that you have been willing to sell for eight years and uh, you were able to sell in seven days. He now came with one ridiculous amount of money after one month. He, came, he now said, take 100,000. The man of God looked at him like this. Uh, that the tithe there is supposed to be 3 million. Our church did. But let me tell you, eh? And immediately, the angel of peace stopped working in the man's life. Immediately. Uh, immediately. You know, when you when you refuse to honor agreement, God leaves you. I mean, let me tell you, even in Islam, when they are doing naming ceremony, ah. Uh, the clerics will tell them, here, yeah, you are raising five million naira. They don't even want to give it. They will say, man of God, okay, cool, take. I tell you, any one of you here that you have made an agreement with any altar of God, I want to beg you, go back and honor it. Mm. If you have made any agreement between any, with any man of God, any altar of God, Maybe you made it in your mind that I want to do this for God. Go back and honor, honor that agreement. And come back and tell me what God will do for you in three days. I decree and declare. Maybe your church or anywhere. I decree. May honor open this door for you today. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Uh, let honor open this door for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus. I said, let honor open this door for you today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Mm. Ela Taruza. Leros Kepaludes Kadia. Yatekerus Ale Faladodo. Le Paradodos Epali Ale Katia. The Lord said, about five people here, you went to pray in Redeem Camp. And you made, listen to me. Listen to me. The Lord said about five of you. You went to pray in Redeemed Camp and you made a promise there and you have not fulfilled it. About five of you. The Lord said you went to make, you promised God and as we speak, you have not fulfilled that promise. I said, like, go and fulfill it all because I want to open a strange door for you in seven days. You know, Sister Lighton, you remember that lady on the mountain? Sister Lighton, you were there? On the, on the mountain. She, she made a promise and she fulfilled it. And it, but Friday that week, ah, Peters were not there. Friday that week, eh, Yahoo Boys took 500,000 from her account. Yes. And, and the lady called me and said, Apostle, you asked me to honor that prophet. And I have honored him. Now they took money from my account. Ah, he said, God must bring it back. I said, ah, I don't know what to do. I've never seen it before that Yahoo boy will take money from your account and they will return it. I didn't know that anointing can make it work. Uh, so I, I, I came out from my car. Sister Nikke, I came out from my car. It was, I was in the car park. I put my feet on the ground. I said, La Rusque Palade is a tiga. Lord, your daughter honored that prophet on the mountain. I said, Lord, yes. let there be a reversal. Do you know what happened? 5 p.m. Before 5 p.m., the Yahoo boy could not sleep again. 
the Yahoo boys, they return the money. Do you know how they took the money? They use recharge card to oh. take the money from the woman. You know, when, they, when you oh. take money, 2,000, 3,000, 2,000, 3,000. You know how they used to steal ah. money from people's account? They stole the money in bits and they returned it in bulk. They stole the money mm -hmm. in bits and they returned it in bulk. Uh, uh, my God, Sister Coca, Sister Coca, do you know they stole the money? You know how they used to steal money. Now? They, it would be as if they are buying a charge card from your account. They bought, they bought the charge card three thousand, two thousand, three thousand, two thousand. Before you know it, five hundred thousand was finished. By the time the woman realized, she on her phone. She just saw numerous alerts. Eh? Her heart wanted to jump out from her from her chest. She called me. The apostle, you asked me to give that prophet seed on the mountain. I said, yes. How much seed did she give? 10,000 naira. Is that? Is that? But they have now taken the money in my account. I said, what? Did you give anybody your pin? He said, no. I, I said, okay, go to the bank. Go and complain. He said, apostle, this, this one, this one, this one, God has failed me. Said, Don't talk like that again. I said, I, not said, I said, because you honor that man on the mountain, I said, the God, God will give you back in double portion. I did not know that God does not want to answer it that way. I did not know that the way God wanted to answer it is to go and put pressure on the mind of the Yahoo guy. <laughs> and instead of the Yahoo guy to return it back in 3,000, 2,000, 3,000, 2,000, the guy returned it back in a book. Book! It has, it has never happened before. I have never seen it before. I have never seen it before. Never seen that kind of before. But today, I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for you today. Every door that has not been able to open for you before, I decree, let all open it for you today in the name of Jesus. I say every day you you have been fasting, you have been praying, you thought everything is prayer and fasting. Uh, you thought everything is who you know. You thought everything is who you who you do. And uh, and uh, and uh, Bible said that it is not of him that will it. It is not of him that run it. Ironic. But of him that showeth mercy. And mercy does not mean you will go and sleep on your bed and you will not come out. That's not the meaning. That's a foolish mm. definition. Mercy means what do you have left in your house? He said, I have a, I have a cup of wine. He said, hey, oh yeah, bring it. Go and go and borrow more. Go and, that is mercy. Mercy means that you must have something you are putting on the table. That's the meaning of mercy. Hey. Some people say, I don't have money. I have an honor. Do you have honor? Uh, some people said there's no money in my pocket. He said, but give honor, put honor there. Ah, uh, how do I see honor? Hey, your father and God, how about your mother? When last have you shown up in their life? Uh, when last? When last have you said, Mommy, how are you? I, I just sent somebody, I sent a charge card of 2000 naira to you. They don't need to ask for it. But oh my god, I decree tonight, let the garment of honor, let the garment of honor. Be one unto you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let me let me shock let me shock you. There are some people they come in the middle of the night. I pick their call. There are some people they come in three a.m. I pick their calls. There are some people even when I'm at work I pick their calls. I don't reject their calls. Now it's not because of money, but because but some of them will say apostle, how are you? Hi. You know, just by saying, how are you? Just by saying, apostle, I'm just checking on you. You know, you will always invest your time in their life. No matter. So one of them said, apostle, I want to go for this interview. I'm confused. I said, come back here. Go. I said, as I said, come back here. Holy Spirit brought what she need to do to me. I said, okay, go and wear a white cloth. Make sure you, make sure you carry a black bag. And go there, and it will speak for you. You mm. see, you see, I did not pray, mm. but honor bring day my calus April. I show you, I show you, yeah, 
Ejodi fire ni oro yin en lati e ni lo ma je mu oluwa dagbada ni oruko je and yesterday do you know what happened yesterday we spoke about adeleke you know that one he did not win election by fasting that one he did not win election by praying that one he did not win the election but he won the election by honoring he won no hey see me by lano let me tell you what happened before we go should you want do you want to listen please quickly listen yeah in nine in in 1950 1950 Their, their their grandfather went to a mountain called called Ede. Are you getting? Mm. Their grandfather went to a mountain called Ede. So when their grandfather got to the mountain, he made a covenant with Baba Abiy. There's one man they call Baba Abiy. Have you heard CAC sing Baba Abiy before? Mm. Have you heard them saying mm. Alagbara yes. Allah Lord yes. Baba Allah Baba yes. Alagbara Allah yes. Lord Akandele de that the man when you hear mm. him he sing Akandele that's a great prophet of our time you know Baba mm. Abiy yeah now they went to the mountain to pray and they made a covenant there with Baba Abiy mm. they said Baba Abiy mm. said ah, oh this mountain no there's no light they said don't worry we will bring light Ah, you brought light to this mountain? He said yes. He said let me pray for you. Any of your children eh, that will be involved in politics, they will always win from today forward. Amen. Uh, that was the prayer. Mm. Is there any one of them that honor not this covenant? Mark the word honor. Mm. Is there anyone so when the dancing senators was dancing, he thought he could use dance to win election. They threw him away. They threw him away. He didn't win. But somebody, somebody now told him, "Come to Ede, you are a foolish guy. Come to Ede, come to Ede. Mm. Your grandfather made an agreement with a prophet. Come and honor that agreement." Mm. Then the man, he mm. went there. When he got to the mountain, they told him, "Remove your shoes. Remove your shoes. They don't wear shoes here." And the man said, "Is it ah, what? Is it, your grandfather came and make a covenant here. Any of his mm. children that honor that covenant, he will always win an election." He said, "Eh, yeah. he said, yeah, come and honor the covenant." Then he went there. They prayed for him. We said, "Go down." Seven days, the court declared him a winner. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it is not see a, when you honor covenant, covenant. Uh, some of you, I see altars around you that you have not honored. I see altars around you that you have not. I'm not saying that. I'm not talking about Abali's altar. <coughs> I'm talking about altars of prayer that you have not honored. I'm talking about altars of your mother, the investment of your father and mother in you. They are prayer investments. You have not honored it. Today, as you wake up with a change of orientation, I decree and declare: Let honor open doors for you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Some of you, you will not struggle again. You will just dance around yeah. an altar, and then, yeah. and your life will not no longer remain the same again. Amen. Can you imagine, Sister yeah. Nika? Is, is somebody somebody contested with an with a sitting a sitting party? Uh, the mm. presidency APC, the state governor APC, he contested mm. just by going to a mountain to go and honor Commander. Ah, my God! And he won the election. Uh, when you when you even see that man, you think that man can win an election on his own? Yeah. You do you think? But the place of honor, it brought him dignity. I decree and declares, brother Bright. I decree and declares, Shade. Everyone here tonight, as you go back and practice this thing, let dignity be restored into your life. In the name of Jesus, whatever prayer cannot do, whatever fasting cannot do, may honor open such door for you. In the name of Jesus, I told that brother in Calabar. I said, go and buy amper for your boss. The guy got the first job, they sack him. He got the second job, they sack him. 
six jobs. Somebody said, I want to introduce the one apostle. And the man called me. The wife is in Abuja. And they called me. I said, oh God, you are going to still lose this particular job. He said, ah, why are you prophesying doom? I said, no, it's not doom. He said, because you have refused to honor your boss. He said, what should mm -hmm. I do? I said, okay, let us pray. I said, go to the market. Go and buy this. Buy, put wine there, not alcoholic. Read Psalm 136 on it. Go and give to your boss. And the guy said, mm -hmm. I, the guy said, I, I don't have money. I said, you are a stingy guy. You are a stingy guy. Mm -hmm. He said, you don't have money. Go and do, go and borrow money and go and honor your boss. And the guy, he did what I asked him to do. Do you know what they did to him? They transferred mm -hmm. him to a higher post. Somebody mm -hmm. that they were supposed to sack. Just by, and the boss said, ah, look at this guy. I can trust this person. I can trust this person. Mm -hmm. I can trust. Oh, they don't need, people think that you have to give to the poor alone. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Giving to the poor eh, is just, is just a normal practice. Let me tell you the one mm -hmm. that opens door for people eh, giving to your superiors. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't get me tonight. You don't get me tonight. Uh -huh. eh, see, see, giving to okay. the poor, giving to the poor is good. You know, it is good. It is a good practice. You know, it's something that you must mm. do. But the one that opens door for you, the one that opens door for you, is giving to your superior. Mm. Don't say they have money. Mm. Don't say they just go and buy wine and give to. I say, uh, uncle, a uh, boss. I just want to appreciate you for being a good boss unto me. Uh, you have taught me. You have mentored me well. I just this is uh, the uh, the boss will look at you and say, ah, uh, what you are practicing. In the next promotion exercise, your name will be there. You will not know how your name gets there. Amen. Uh, Amen. Don't give up. My, uh, people don't understand tonight. People don't understand. Mm. Uh, do you know that I got a job in another place? Because my former mm. boss, I went to him. I said, boss, even though everybody do not like you here, do you know that me, I've always knew that you are a good, you are a good person. You have taught me this. You have taught me that. You have taught me that. Sir, I went to the UK. Look at the shirt I brought for you. Please, sir. Eh, correct H and C chair, shirt. Correct one. You know, I gave it up to him. And when the man went to another place, he remembered me. He said, Dio, send your CV to me. Send your CV to me. Ah, I decree today, let favor as you honor father, your mother, as you even honor your security. I decree. Let favor be invested into your life. In the name of Jesus. Uh, oh, give the Lord a clap of it tonight. You don't know what has happened. Uh, as you go tonight, I decree, let all tasks of favor begin to follow you everywhere you go. As you step out of your as you step out of your house tomorrow, I decree let a raiment of honor be attached unto your pedigree in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 No longer will it be said that you look before you see. As you turn your head right left, let doors be opened. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Give the Lord a clap of friend as we go tonight. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Celebrate. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a clap of God bless.